Hi, I'm Brian Parks from Blimo Air Controls. I'm here with DJ from Field Support, and today DJ is going to show us how to upgrade the firmware on the Blimo Energy Valve EV4. DJ? Thanks, Brian. Before we get started, we need to confirm a couple of things. First, that your energy valve is an energy valve 4. Second, we'll also need a Ethernet cable, a laptop, and if it's not powered, a power supply. Let's get started. This tutorial will cover the steps to update the firmware on our latest energy valve version 4 and thermal energy meters. It is important to note that older hardware versions of the energy valve do not support user installable firmware patches. You can identify an energy valve 4 by the NFC logo on the top of the sensor and the data cable connection will be on the sensor logic module. Older energy valve versions do not support NFC and the data cable will plug into the actuator. The thermal energy meter is a recent addition to our product family and will share the same hardware as the energy valve version 4. The first thing we need to do is access the energy valve to verify the current firmware version. You will need to browse to the IP address of the device. In the case that you do not have that IP address readily available, there are alternative options. You can employ the zero config address conveniently provided on a label on the device's logic module, or you have the option to use the Blamo Assistant app, which is compatible with most Apple and Android devices. This app uses your smartphone's NFC capability to connect with the logic module, allowing you to acquire the device's IP address seamlessly. In this case, the IP address is known, so we will enter that in the address field. Here, we are prompted for the username and password for the energy valve. The username will be admin. And then you would enter your admin password. The admin password is available by contacting Bulimo Technical Support. Once you're logged in, you may be greeted by this default passwords used warning message. You may click OK here, but make a note to come back later to change your default admin password if that's the case. Once you're logged in, you will see the overview page, and on the left hand side is the menu structure. Now we'll need to determine the current hardware and software version. On the left hand menu, first click status to expand the status menu, and then click on version information. Under the software heading, we're going to determine the core software version. Thermal energy meters and EV4 models should have a core software version number above 4. In this case, mine is 4.26.2. Note this for later. Now that we've determined the core software version, we need to check and see if there's an update available. In a new browser window, go to www.belimo.com and, if prompted, select your country at the top. At the top, click on the support heading, and then click on the software, plugins, and apps option. On the left-hand side of the screen is a filter tool. If you scroll to the bottom, you can hit the clear button to clear that filter. Then expand the software apps heading and click the firmware option. The screen should now refresh with the current versions of the firmware and the release notes. Compare your current core software version with the versions available on the website. If your current version is outdated, compared to the new version on the website, you can move forward with the next step. In my case, the current version is the same as the version I've got, however, I will still proceed to the next step, as this will not create any issues. Note that there are specific updates for both the thermal energy meter and the energy valves. Ensure you download the correct one. After downloading, locate the file in your download folder. Prior to uploading the firmware, it needs to be unzipped. If necessary, make a note of the folder path for the now unzipped file. Next, 
switch back to the energy valve or thermal energy meter web view screen. Locate and click on the settings menu on the left hand side of your screen and then click on maintenance on the new expanded menu. You'll be taken to the maintenance screen. On the maintenance screen, locate the software update heading and click the upload and apply files button. This will open a sub window with a choose file button. Click that. On the new screen, navigate to the folder where you extracted the firmware update file. Once you've found that folder, click the RAUCB file to open it. Depending on your device, browser, or operating system, your sequence might be different from what you've seen here. Take a brief moment to review the warning message that appears on the Upload and Apply Update pop-up window. If you're comfortable proceeding, click OK. If you're not, click Cancel. In most circumstances, your energy valve or thermal energy meter will be offline for up to 10 minutes, so it's best not to do this for critical applications during normal hours. After clicking OK, you will be greeted with an uploading update progress bar. This can take a couple of minutes. Once it's through, the device will reboot. While rebooting, you'll be shown a message that it's installing update briefly, followed by a restarting progress bar. This progress bar is a rough estimation of the time to start up the device. Once complete, you can attempt to refresh your browser and re-log into the device. Once you're logged back into your EV or thermal energy meter, verify that the update was successful. To do this, navigate to the status and then version information menu. This will open up the new screen. Once again, check the core software version and see if that matches with the version that you downloaded from our website. If it doesn't appear to have updated, close your browser, clear your cache, and try again. If it matches, congratulations, you've updated your energy valve or thermal energy meter to the latest version. Hey DJ, thanks for that great tutorial. If you have any questions, please call Belimo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038. Please remember to subscribe to the Belimo YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.